Today I'm going to talk about the account shop. What everybody's throwing a hissy fit over on Discord. Due to data miners, yes, it's already in the game in the background. All com to us needs to do is flick a switch and it's on. For some reason in North America servers, it's not in the game. And it probably should be. I'm going to tell you my personal thoughts about it. I'm also going to talk about 10 things that are actually more important, but take a little bit more time for the developers to implement these things. As for the account shop, like I said, it's already in the game in the background. Just turn it on. If you like all my videos and like my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell, ding and ding thing, so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. Tip of the century. It's about Battlefield. You may already know this. And I'm doing this tip today because I'm going to talk about Battlefield in a little bit. Battlefield is now 100% mining. Meaning you can go to middle and just mine all day. And that's pretty much what the game is. If you control mid, you win. Because when you die, you lose like 5% of your sky stones. So there's really no point in even killing people except for the devil mom rewards in the shop. But here's a tip. Since we're playing Minefield, your pickaxe that you have equipped determines how fast you mine in Battlefield. So if you really want to optimize in Battlefield, you can go to the package shop and go to consumables and buy the one legendary pickaxe every week. You can also use guild coins on your legendary pickaxe if you really want to. But just know that in Battlefield, your competition is probably doing this. So if you want more Sky Stones and want more rating in your ranking, get some legendary pickaxes. Or if you don't want to buy or use the legendary pickaxes, you can get them from the general merchant in either Ruka Rangma or Contana. The more you know. Now before we get started on this account shop, I honestly feel like half of you don't even know what you're fighting for. Some of you are even saying that Comp2Us doesn't listen to their community. We literally got the mining cap changed in one week. You're now getting your 15 LNDs from the Contana rewards if you do it on each summoner. Technically, when we get a new Archer summoner, it's going to be five more. And you're telling me that they don't listen? So let's talk about the account shop. The account shop is where you use crystals to buy certain things either one time or once a month or once a week, whatever. The account shop goes by your account level. So it highly depends on how much time you invest into the game by grinding as free to play or how much money you spend in the game. On average, the super whales are level 75 plus. Spenders are probably around 60 to 65 ish. Free to play is anywhere between 50 to 60. There are exceptions to these numbers, but this is the majority. I'm just going to talk about the main major things, not mystical scrolls or legendary scrolls. I'm talking about the important things. You're getting a one-time Devilmon at account level 20. You're getting a one-time natural 5-star unit at level 40. And just to be heard, it's not your summoner level, it is your account level. That is this number right up here. Those are just the extras, which you're spending crystals on, by the way. But the main things to talk about on the account shop is four threshold account levels. Level 50, level 60, level 70, and level 75. Now at level 50, what unlocks is a blessing marble so you can refresh the altar's blessing. Now seeing as you can refresh altar's blessing twice for free every single month, you have the ability to refresh it for a third time for a thousand crystals. So if you truly have enough summons to refresh Altar's Blessing twice and have the RNG to get all your Nat 5s and then refresh it again with this marble and then have enough summons still to be able to do Altar's Blessing, then please be my guest. Do that. This is great for the 5%. Now what we also get for free, which is what the hissy fits about, is level 51 LD Transcendent Scroll for free. That is a natural 5 star light or dark. Level 55 is one Devilmon once a month for 2500 crystals too, which is important. Level 55 is doable for free to play. Level 60, which is very hard for free to play, easily obtainable by small spenders, is one transcendent scroll a month for 7500 crystals. 
which again, you need to be a legitimate spender. To spend 7,500 crystals every single month on one regular natural 5-star unit. Level 65s are outfits. Level 70 is a legendary light and dark scroll, which you probably know is going to be a 4-star anyway, but it is 10,000 crystals. And level 70 account level anyway is probably you're spending a lot and you're going to just buy this regardless. Because you just buy everything, right? And then level 75 is the real kicker. Because that's 1.5 million gold a week. And one more extra light and dark transcendent scroll for another natural 5 star unit. But at the cost of 30,000 crystals. You also have two more of those at level 85 and 95. Good luck getting there. And then there's two more light and dark legendary scrolls at 10,000 crystals each. So let's talk about what we're fighting for so hard in Discord. The majority of players fighting for this under level 60 is fighting for the free light and dark natural 5 star unit. The Blessing Marble is a whales game, but the monthly Devilmon is huge. Of course everybody's going to want a free 5 star light or a dark monster. But be careful what you wish for when you pull a dark panda. Then you'll say it's a conspiracy and they only give you certain natural 5 star units or whatever. Anything past level 60 is going to be a minnow to a whales game. And not only that, when you unlock it, you need to spend more money to buy it because you don't got that crystal just laying around unless you've already bought it. The moral of the story is there's way more things that we need to be worried about for the game than over an account shop. Come to us, just turn it on and make the community happy. Now let's talk about 10 things that are actually more important than the account shop, but would need a little bit more coding to get done. But just turn the account shop on. First and foremost, merge the US servers. There are three servers in East and three servers on West. The ping between us in the US is nothing. Merge all the servers under East and all the servers under West and just have a East and West to be able to cross play. Second is Battlefield. The ranking system is great. The change to Battlefield is worse. Battlefield is now a mining game. And if you're not going to mine, if you're going for kills for the devil mons in the shop, then you will lose the game and won't get sky stones. Since the change of summoners only dropping, what, like 5% of what you are holding in sky stones in Battlefield, there is no motivation to go kill someone. When you kill someone, you should at least drop half of their sky stones for you to pick up. Next on the list is targeting. On PC, it's not that bad, but it's still bad. There should be an option to either tab target on PC or be able to hotkey like the one, two, three in the target box. But for how it's now, especially on mobile, where if you're looking at the screen on your phone at me right now and you're moving with your left hand, you have to stop moving to hit the target or you keep moving and have to cross your hand over the screen. and You can't even see my eyes and I can't see the screen to touch the target. The next big thing is UI customization, which actually might help with targeting a little bit. What we need the ability to do to move around things on the screen if we'd like. Maybe I want the targeting box on the bottom right or the bottom middle. The only thing we have in a UI scale is small and normal. And normal is just crazy. I don't know how anybody can play on this. We want more customization on this screen. Next on the list is Special Expedition Hard Mode Dark Borbo. Key is broken. There have been people that have beaten it. Everything is working as intended. I've tested it. Especially his passive where the damage taken down from skills is down 100%. And the basic attacks damage are taken up to 120%. Because that's what you need to do. Bring in basic attacks to kill Dark Borbo. That should be the gimmick along with the power level cap. But the main problem is, Dark Borbo has 2.5 million HP. If you compare that to Light Shirekli at 455,000, Wind Arachne 632,000, Fire Talatus at 957,000, and Water Roads at 536,000. We're talking anywhere from 3 to 4 to 5 times the amount of HP on Dark Borbo. N still has 9,500 defense, which is the second highest out of all these bosses. For example, Water Roads Hard Mode Level 1. For the amount of damage that I can put out, Giggity, 
on water rose from 100% to zero. I can do four times the amount of damage on Dark Borbo. And that's on Dark Borbo with a time frame of like two minutes. The HP on Dark Borbo has to be incorrect. The next big thing is we need a pity system on our summoner's gear. Especially now that there's six star runes in North America. Monsters are way better than summoners now. Especially defensive scaling ones. But that's a different topic. We need a pity system in leveling our gear. Especially now that we're trying to maximize this type of gear, it's nearly impossible to kill like full support teams. And we need a pity system because A, we're spending 53,000 Skystones just to repair something at plus 11 6 star second awakening. Now with 6 star gear before 6 star runes, we never wanted to go above plus 12 because the success rate and the durability reduction rate is just extreme. Plus with the amount of sky stones that you need, it's ridiculous. But this is why we need a pity system. Every time that this fails, the success rate should go up and the reduction rate should go down. I shouldn't have to repair it, spend those sky stones, and then fail three times and have to spend another 53,000 sky stones to repair this just to fail three more times. The next big thing before account shop dissembling. This assembling old gear that we have leveled up should give us something other than just these enhancement thingies. We need to be getting sky stones back from it. At least 25% of the amount that we put in. Honestly, the same goes for runes too. We don't get anything back from it. Now that there's rune succession, this tremendously helps with that, so thank you. But what if we just wanted sky stones back because we want to put it towards gear or something like that? We should be able to disassemble to get sky stones. Next big thing, rune management. It's still messy as heck. Let me unlock these runes from anywhere. I can't unlock this from rune alchemy page. Also, if I'm trying to optimize some certain stats and I click on a rune, I want to be able to see the overall stat change, not just the stat change on the rune. I want to see the total over here. The only place we get that is in the preset option where you can click A and B and you can see both. I like this, but I want this like at the bottom left half or something. Come to us, take Sky Arena's rune system as an example that you perfected and perfected over the nine years that the game has been out. Take that, implement it into this game. The next big thing are monsters need buffs or nerfs. There needs to be more balance changes. Or some effects like bombs, yeah I know bombs, they've been trying to work on bombs forever, but even still lackluster. Have ignore defense nukers be able to ignore 100% of the defense, not just 60. Have bombs ignore 100%. Have the timers of the bombs reduced. The AI on some of these monsters are just dumb. Wooser, for example, will sometimes cast his first skill over his second, which does not make sense at all. Or at least let us have some kind of slider priority. Where like the AI, you can choose it to always use its first or second skill first when you're not a soul link. And number 10 on the list is like mass combining. We don't have any current events like that in North America, but anything like Lucky Bingo or the events with the chocolates or candies when you have a shop and you have to click each one over and over and over and over and over. Please add just like a number we can click to buy however many of those things that we want. Or for like the arena lucky bingo or the Karos dungeon. If we have 600 clovers and it costs four, let us just do some kind of like mass collect thing to fill out the whole bingo page and go to the next one. And that's it for today's video. The account shop is a must too, don't get me wrong. It's already in the game system. As my friends would say, we're getting milk. Which I preferably like, but hey, I don't know about you. I like to get milked, but whatever. Just turn the switch on and give everybody a count shop. You'll be the heroes once again. Because I know you've been listening to the community. If you like my videos, like my content. Sub, like, ding, ding, a bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.